In this video, we are going to see how to resolve the issues like camera not waving, full lines, mode not changing, video compatibility issue, and then upgradation of firmware online without any pen drive. Okay, so let's start this solutions. To open the software KMS Pro Lite, here I am going to add the device that which is has problem. To add the device, I am going to click on add. Here I need to select install mode. Under that I am going to give demo, whatever name you want to give, you can give. So I am going to put the serial number here. So this problem is happened with my customer. So with this method, I am able to resolve this issue remote it, remotely itself. Before doing it, you need to check every connections, everything is connected properly or not. Now click on add. So DVR is came online. Yeah, serial number also showing. So after this, let's see what is the problem is. I will show you live what is the issue is actually is going on. We have installed this camera just few days before only. It was working while we installed. After one day or two day, uh, one or two days, this camera is came like this so it is camera also is good connection wearing everything is good dvr also doesn't have issue so still this problem is coming and the for the same the solution also we are seeing so any date you, any doubt you have means you can leave, leave a comment on this video Okay, we will confirmly help you. So once you click on that setting option, the, the particular DVR will be opened in Chrome browser. Here you need to give DVR password and click login. The dashboard will come like this. If you see top when there is a manage option, three lines manage option, you need to click on that. Under that you need to select option camera. Under that channel type. This is the first method to resolve that issue. Okay. So I am going to select channel type. Under that, if for example, some cameras will be AHD, some cameras will be CVI, some cameras will be TVI. So sometimes what will happen, it will not change automatically. So automated mode sometimes will not work. On that case, you need to select it manually. If for example, CVI camera means select CVI and then apply. It will show operation succeed pop up. And then go under uh, on that software KVMS Pro Lite. See if the video is become camera is camera problem is sorted out or not, not. Otherwise, you select other mode also. And again, check for that problem solved or not. Here in my case, it is not solved. Again, it is become totally black. So it is 5 MB camera which we have installed. Now, now let's see next step. This method will not work out. So I am going to select in uh, as usual default auto mode and then I'm going to apply and save it and then leave this step. So watch for next step. What I am going to do is mostly probably in my experience, I am telling this problem is happening due to this firmware upgradation. Maybe this firmware which DVR is having, it was older version. For that reason, this, this problem is coming. 
So for that, I'm going to click on that home option under the dashboard info is there. Under that info option, there is a system maintenance. There you will find upgrade option. So if you up upgrade this uh, in online means you no need any pen drive or firmware upgrade and all this. You need no need to go for customer place. You can do it by remotely also. Okay. And here that uh, previous version is showing. showing uh, yeah, I, I told you now the uh, firmware is available. The latest version is fixed that uh, bugs resolve. And then third option is our problem. Compatibility issue is resolved. There was an issue with uh, DVR firmware side. That's the reason this problem was happening. So that's uh, that is the version. That's the reason this upgraded firmware is came. So let's click the upgrade. So here, uh, before upgrading, you know need to know power should not be get off. Internet should not be get disconnected. Okay. After clicking OK, it will start upgrading. So wait for few few minutes once uh, DVR is upgraded the DVR will be restart automatically that time the this browser will say connection timeout and our after that it will go timeout option yeah it is showing yeah connection timeout after some time this site can't be reached like this it will come don't get panic so actually DVR is run for offline for a few seconds it is restarted so after restart if you open the camera means you will see problem is resolved thank you have a nice day thanks for watching.